I might go and find a drink. I'll fetch you one. There's no need. I'll go. No. I insist. You're the guest. Oh. Trouble you for a drop of whiskey, Mr. Neild. Sorry, Miss Wilkins. But I'm surprised if it's for you. Oh, no. For a guest from the South. That's very kind. Thank you. Wanted. No. I wouldn't drink that if I were you, Miss. Oh, that's the damn treat. Think I'll get another one. Each to his own. <laughs> what in God's name? of your handiwork. I don't know what you mean. Never mind, Miss Wilkins. It might do him good to let it all go for once. And I'm grateful I am. What for? Because I need never be held back by any sense of loyalty to you. say there's a wild man inside all of us. If only he would stay inside. to a penny, Mr. Barrow thinks he can use it against Mr. Bates. Reporting to her ladyship, she'd soon put a stop to it. I can't. It's complicated, but I can't. What is it? What's what? You're doing something funny with your head, sort of tilting it. I'm not, am I? How do you think I look? Why? Have you got a rash? Well, I've not got a rash. That's all right, then. No, what I meant was... How old do you say I am? I don't know, maybe 52? Oh. Why, how old are you? 51. What do you make of this? Blimey, what does that mean? As you know, Lord Gillingham arrives today, but there's been no mention of a valet. There's enough mention of the last one, Lord knows. Poor Mr Green, what a terrible end. Let's not rake over that now. As I say, his lordship may have a valet, but these days we can't be sure, so... Uh... Yes, Mr Carson. Not you. Mr Bates, would you keep an eye on him if necessary? Certainly, Mr Carson. Mr Mosley, have you... Have I what, Mr Carson? Uh, never mind. Yes. Mosley, you look very Latin all of a sudden. Do you have Italian blood? No, my lord. Not that I'm aware. Or Spanish? Or Irish? What's happened to Mosley's hair? Is everything satisfactory, my lord? No, it is not. And can you please keep Mosley in the kitchens until his hair stops turning blue? Mr. Mosley, I do not know why you have treated your hair with a special substance, well, I... but I can only say that the effect on your appearance is not what you would have it. Take steps, Mr. Mosley. Take steps. You will remain below stairs until you do.
I'm perfectly capable of serving lunch to three ladies. So why are you here? I have an idea that she wants to introduce me to Lady Shackleton. Are you sure this isn't your idea? I wonder if you haven't pushed her ladyship into it so you could just show off in front of her. Certainly not. I think it's my job you're after. Nothing to do with Lady Shackleton. No. So are you, sir. Well, I'm going to announce luncheon. But I'm warning you. That's all. My son tells me that this decision to remove the farm subsidies has dealt a terrible blow to landed estates up and down the country. That awful Mr Lloyd George. I agree. You know, I sometimes wonder if he isn't really German, just pretending to be Welsh. Oh. It's nice to see you here, Mosley. Mosley's always been a great supporter of the family. Yeah, that's good to hear. Oh, yes. Granny and I are always saying there's no one more alive or than Mosley. No one. Careful, Mr Mosley! Oh, are you quite well, Mosley? Yes, you are, is she? There's nothing to shout like that. That wasn't doing anything at all. It looked to me as if you were about to drop it. Well, I wasn't. Very well. Here, take this. Oh, 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 sorry, my lady, I... I didn't realise the plate was so hot. Poor man, he seems quite new to this kind of work. Does he? Oh, but that's... Oh, no, that's... No, that is Mosley's strength. See, he is always ready for a challenge. Well, I think it was very kind of you to allow him to have a go at it. Yeah, well, we, we try to do our best. I do find it very hard these days to see how many men are forced to take employment for which they're quite unsuited. I hope you'll soon get back to whatever it is that you're trained for. What do you mean you'll have to think about it? Well, what I say? I didn't mind helping you out when you were short-staffed. How good of you. But to accept a permanent position as a footman... I, I'm, I'm a trained valet, Mr Carr. I'm a trained butler. <laughs> to accept a, my, my fall by taking a, a permanent inferior place... You keep telling me it's permanent, but from where I'm sitting, it's looking less permanent by the minute. I, I shall give it every consideration. Very generous, I must say. I'll let you know my answer when I have one. I shall wait with bated breath. Might have a word, Mr. Carson? Certainly. I've given it a lot of thought. Have you indeed? First, I've needed to deal with my father's disappointment when he learned of my downward path. But I waited against the power to do good that all employment brings. Did you know? And you thought all that. I feel I could contain my skills and guide them into a more modest channel without loss of dignity. Just fancy. So, all in all, and after mature deliberation, you'll be pleased to hear that I can accept your offer. What offer? to replace Alfred as foreman. Oh, dear, Mr. Mosley, I'm afraid that Alfred is not leaving now. Yeah, it's a pity you didn't accept the job when we last talked, then I'd been stuck with you. As it is, you've missed your chance. As I generally do. Mature deliberation. 